life. That's what they talk. They feel it every day. So I have, a, I have a question for you. Uh, you said you, uh, you, there was one time when you got married, you, didn't want, you weren't sure of coming back here. And you spoke to Rav Mordechai Eliyahu. So what was that about? Can you tell yes, us? Rav Mordechai Eliyahu, because I was very, trying to be a student of Rav Mordechai Eliyahu. I was, uh, was, because he does it with us now. But uh, I, I'm a neighbor of Rav Mordechai Eliyahu. I live in Kanfena Sharim, number eight, and he lives in Kanfena Sharim, number four or two. It's the same building, and the, the, the windows of Rabbi Eliyahu, my windows, it's a, look at it. So every Saturday I was going to go with him to the synagogue, and also every day, morning and afternoon. So every year, because here, I, I was coming here for more than 20 years when I talked to the Rav, I, I, he told me one time, where are you going to sleep on this Saturday in Shabbat Chayei Sarah Hebron? I tell you to the Rav, please, um, I have a big, big problem because tomorrow's Friday, it was night, maybe 11 o'clock, and he said that, I, I, I tell him but, that I didn't find any friend that invited me to sleep in his home. So Rav Eliyahu said, please, Call two, this one, two, three, and tell them Rabbi Hillel Horowitz, number known, Rabbi Avinar Horowitz, Rabbi Dov Dior, tell all of them that I say that because that you was more than 20 years, you must go every day, every time, every year on this Shabbos. And I tell him why it's so important. He said that that's the time that you look like all the Jews in the world can feel what's written in the Bible, and also there are a lot of place that Bala Nes lo so. If we know that the, the Arabic, and also people from maybe the forest of, from the um, Christian, on the, I don't, doesn't know where, that they talk to the Arabic and tell them, please make fight. And also people from other places that they talk against Am Israel. I doesn't say that all the people in the world do it, but who's do it? They won't do it every minute. They find a, a, a gun and they find the time and just when they want to make it, it doesn't go. So Jewish can't just understand it before that he look. He tried to see what the people that hate the Jewish want to do. That's why I say, after that, I talked to the Rav. I was said to her, my friend, also when I was in America, I said it to Rabbi Gershon in Los Angeles, and I said it to Rabbi Posansky in Tinak, and I said it to Rabbi Shivat Ramaz, and I said it to Rabbi Nime of, of uh, Five Towns, every place also when I was in, uh, talking to Rabbi Nime from France or other place in the world. Please, doing what the Rabbi Mordechaliyah told me. Baroness Mekir Ben Yisau, it said that the Baroness doesn't believe, doesn't know. Not nobody doesn't know. So if you want to know, do what I tell you. He doesn't afraid. Come here. Not go to Calcilia. But in Calcilia doesn't know how to go the inside. But come here. Talk to the Ar one Arabic and tell him, please, I want to go to your home. And now it's very dangerous. Doesn't say that everybody going to do it. But who's have the strange and he knows. Does it happen to him? Because we know that today everybody have the knife in the hand. But when I go, was going, also next, last year, I was here in Hebron, and here, and then people from the, um, how you call this television? Um, Al Jazeera? One of, the, one of the television from America. Uh, CNN? Uh, around the world, um, around them. Uh, CNN? North, CNN, yes. They was going here, and the children, they see that the children throw stone, and they will see that I, stay there with my friend, and the, it doesn't go, so they asked me, you speak English? I said, a little bit. They said, what you, what you doing here? They try to, st to throw to stone, and they, they look at me like, look like a, they are afraid, and I don't look like a friend. I said, please, first, that they can't speak to me anything, because here we have heat, I doesn't know how to say it in English. At Barrier. The, yes, uh -huh. so that the, the stone can, can't come. Even if it's a stone like this, it doesn't go to me anything. I was in the army, I was in Lebanon, I doesn't afraid for this like this. It is very, 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 very small for one millimeter. But if uh, 
the Arabic wants to speak, I want to speak. The CNN was saying, that's what I was very um, um, looking for. That they will see how I talk to the Arabic, this Arabic is talk. But CNN heard what the Arabic said. The children, I asked them, what do you have to do in this house? They said, we come here to strong, to strong stone to you.